Today we're going to take our base ingredient, add some seasonings and some binders, and make meatball sub sandwiches. If you think of a, of a stream, it cascades down the rocks. That same thing we can do in the kitchen too, by cascading dishes. Join me, Steve Bryce, as I guide you through what I learned, tips, techniques, tricks, as well as mistakes over the years as I explored plant-based eating in my transition from being a meat eater, working in the meat industry, to becoming a vegan chef. I'm taking about a teaspoon of fennel and a teaspoon of rosemary, putting them in the spice grinder and grinding those. So I'm combining about a cup of the lentil base mixture with a just shy of a quarter cup of toasted breadcrumbs, a little bit shy of a quarter cup of the chickpea flour, adding the spices that we ground. So we'll combine that ground spice mixture in with our other ingredients, mix those, and just form those into little, little ball shapes. It doesn't have to be perfect or regular. For this Parmesan, and there's a multitude of recipes on the internet for, for vegan parm, but in this case, it's just three ingredients. It's some cashews, some nutritional yeast, and salt. And it works pretty well. Just grind those up in the blender. And These rolls I made the other day, and they're part whole wheat, but you can use any roll. Just we'll toast them in the toaster oven just to warm them up and then maybe add just a little bit of crispiness to the outside. This red sauce I had the other day, it's basically just a red sauce that I added more onions, some mushrooms and garlic too, as well as basil and oregano. But any red sauce, even from a can or a jar, would work. So I chose rosemary and fennel to taste more like pepperoni. So when you have this, you bite into it, you'll think, ah, this is almost pepperoni. So we'll take our meatballs and Place them on the roll that's been toasted, add some of the red sauce that's been warmed up, and some of this parm that, that we made earlier. The defining characteristics of parmesan are usually, you know, the umami, which we're pulling in from the nutritional yeast, and then salt, and a little bit of fat that we're pulling in from the cashews. So it doesn't, it doesn't make a bad replacement. It's actually pretty good but it's quick and it's simple and pretty easy. With a nice side salad on this, it would be great. You might even cut some fruits in there like orange slices or dried fruit in, uh, on your salad. Apples, strawberries. Yeah, so you can have the fruit along with the greens and really have a, a full day in just two little plates. So as you enjoy the last bit of your meal, don't forget to move in nature or practice flowing in on your mat whenever you want to find flow and ease in your life.